So I got my hands on a Paldean Fates Elite Trainer Box, and we're gonna see what's in this bad boy. Immediately looking at this Elite Trainer Box, I freaking love the purple. It's such a nice dark uh, purple with all the little symbols on it, all of the Pokemon energy symbols and stuff like that. Already off the gate, love the aesthetic of this Elite Trainer Box. And man, that Mimikyu is super shiny. Like, he's like popping. Like, you can even see, like, you can see my face in there. Hello, hey, how's it going, hi. On the back, we got Paldean Fate, Scarlet and Violet, a Pokemon, the Mimikyu promo preview thing on the back. And the Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Paldean Fate Elite Trainer Box includes your nine packs, your full art promo card, your sleeves, you got your basic energy cards, the player's guide, six damage counters, a competition legal flip die, two plastic condition counters, and etc. and so forth. There's a little preview of what we're about to open. Okay, so this is the player's guide. It's also in that really cool deep purple flavor. All the cool stuff about the set is in here, so we will set that aside for later. And we got the awesome dope box. Man, this is like popping. That foiling is like, it's super cool. Really love that foiling. Just moving it around here. Let's see. Okay, so it's Mimic 2 on both sides with the foiling and the Paldean Fates on top. So let's, what's in the box? So let's see here. We have the normal divider that's in here. And got these cheap counters. I really wish they would go back to the old hard acrylic counters because these are, these are not great. And we got the dice and I do have to say the dice in the set, the dies and the, the D6 are super cool. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me take them out actually. So here we got the Elite Trainer Box die for the Paldean Fates. It's really cool. It's purple. It's almost like a plum flavor, but it's all shiny and glittery. And man, I love that die. It's all glittery. Like that's so yummy, I can eat that dye. And also got these awesome damage counters that are like a plumish pink kind of color, but it's super cool. I'm really a fan of the color they got going on with this set. Shake, 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 shake. And here are the super cool Mimic 2 sleeves. Very awesome. It's also that plum color, but it kind of mimics that shiny flare that got going on the foiling. The sleeves are not quite foiled out, but they do have some shimmer shine. And here is a sick Mimic 2 promo. It's super cool. It's got Mimic 2 like hanging out with an elder lady who's like crocheting or something or doing something, but this is a really cool, wholesome full art. That card is awesome. I am a huge fan of it. It's all warm. It has a nice like warm tone on it. Look at that Mimic 2. He, he real, he real comfortable. He very comfortable. And you got your dividees. These are actually really cool double-sided dividers. Got some really shiny part on the back with the Pokemon energy symbols on and everything. That's very cool. The part I like about these is normally these are like white or black, but this is purple. So that's super cool because if you do use them as dividers, it's really going to make it easier to find your cards because these are purple, like a deep purple. So they look really unique. And we got the booster packs. Fancy. So let's talk about the pack art real quick. I, I really think obviously Pikachu, Shiny Pikachu has to be on here, but not a great pack art. Shiny Pikachu doesn't look too much different. Same thing with Tinkaton. Uh, Don Dozo does look significantly different. I think that's a good choice for Paldean Fates. And the Cerulege looks literally no different other than his eyes. So these are kind of questionable for the pack art, but it's the Pokemon people like, so they're gonna put literally anything they want on there. All right, we're gonna take our time opening these packs. This is my first Paldean Fates product, so I really don't want to rush through it. I really want to look at the art, enjoy the art, and kind of talk about it. So we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna be in any hurry here, guys. All right, we start off the set with a Cottony, a Cottony, the very contrast. Oh, a Lapras, the new Lapras art. That is awesome. Lapras is like all chilling and vibing. There's a lighthouse in the background into the deep freeze dry. Not gonna be a playable, but that art is really cool. It's cool and it's fancy. Mime Jr., some contrasted like posterized type art. A Mastiff, oh, that art's pretty cool. He's like pff, popping out that page there. Very cool. An Artisan, so that's just a reprint. Oh, a Curlia, very cool. Nimona's Backpack, that is a new card. Oh yeah, Frigibax, this is actually be useful because I play. Uh, Chin Pao, so I might actually be able to use that 70 HP Frigid back with Collect. A Donfin, and then our first guy is... Oh, a Great Tusk EX! That is awesome, guys. We're starting off the first pack with a hit. That... That's value right there. So this one's actually uh, pretty cool. People are talking about this Great Tusk card because of Quaking Demolition. Once at the end of your turn, if the Pokemon is an active slot, you must discard the top five cards of your deck, but it's a basic that can do 260. And the thing is, is Path to the Peak actually turns this ability off. So it might actually be uh, playable. We don't we don't know. Tinglu might come back, who knows? 
All right, we're doing pretty good so far. We got one pack, one hit. Everything's pretty good. I am looking forward to the North American Championships. I am going. I'm probably going to just be a judge or something, like do professor stuff there. Oh, yeah, another Lapras starting out pretty good. I, I do really love that Lapras art. That's really cool. A scraggy, look at him. He got he got loose pants. It's not his problem. Another Mime Junior, another Mastiff. Hey, a Primeape. That art is cool. It's like really contrasting. It's like bam. It's very like anime inspired. The Whimsicott. Another uh, Scrafty. Okay, so uh, Scraggy's evolved form, also with loose pants. Uh, he, he does look like a grown up version of of Scraggy. Nothing kind of crazy. There, hey, a Clive, it's cool Clive, cool Clive. That's really cool. I don't really think this card is gonna be played, but I do like that art, a graveyard, and an Annihilate. So this is the same as the Annihilate promo that they did before, but now it's in the packs. This set isn't really expected to have much impact on gameplay. It is mostly a collectible set, but it does have like Charizards and stuff in it that people are really wanting, you know, the Pidgeots and stuff like that, Barboach. Art's pretty cool. Oh, the chonk, and he's getting some water. That's cool. Look at him there. He's like, that's what he's doing. Execute. Oh, a ghastly. That art is cool. I really, uh, I'm really bad at telling what's reprints and what's not. So I could be like really enamored by reprint cards. And Atticus. That is, that is definitely a new card. Atticus, super cool from the new game. A Donfin. Oh, a shiny Dondozo. That's cool. It him. I don't know. I just skipped a whole bunch of cards, but that's cool. Look at him. Hit him. Hit the shiny. Hit him. Hit the guy on the cover. <laughs> right? Hit him. Hit him. Okay. I doubt these cards are going to be worth anything. They, they're super cool. I love the shiny cards. Noibat in a Raichu. But yeah, this set won't be really played. There really isn't a whole bunch in here besides reprints that people want. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that play the game have noticed with that Iono kit, like Ionos are significantly down right now, which in my opinion is always good for the game. I don't like expensive cards. A Nimona, that's definitely a reprint. A Charmander, which is a, a reprint, but it's one of my favorite Charmander arts. Hey, a rare candy. I can use that. It's a playable, boys. That's a playable. Hey, another Frigibax guy, Hoonlit Hill. Uh, this is the one they're talking about for Gardevoir. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a basic energy card in order to heal third damage from each of their Pokemon. So that might actually help uh, Guardi decks. I'm not sure if it's going to see a lot of play, but it might counter Path to the Peak. Charmeleon with Flare, Veil, Dashborn. Dust art is really cool. He's like, hey, how's it going? In the field of wheat and stuff like that. Dashborn's kind of a weird Pokemon to me because they look very delicious. Like, I mean, delicious. Hey, it's a Lechonk, but it's still Reverse Foil. Cool. <laughs> Oh, Charizard EX! It's not the special one, but it is a Charizard. That's super cool. Oh, man. That's awesome. This is my, this is the deck I play in standard, and I absolutely love Charizard. I'm a huge Charizard fan. Not my favorite Pokemon, but definitely my second favorite Pokemon. So, this is obviously one of the decks that have been played significantly in standard for the last couple of, uh, for, for a while now, ever since Charizard came out. But super cool. That's a hit, guys. That's some value right there. Cool art. Uh, not the new art, but definitely cool art. So we got two hits. That's pretty good so far. I'll take it. Opening up these packs, taking our time, enjoying the art, enjoying the zen of Pokemon. That's what we're doing today, guys. We're just enjoying ourselves. The Gimme Ghoul, look at him. He's in trouble, but probably not. Who knows? And the Lechonk art again, the Execute arts. Oh, the Charcadet art, that's really cool. And Ultra Ball playable, we will take those. We will take those. That's Woo Bat. It's Woo Bat. The Clive again. Uh, the Woo Bat. Caldean Wooper. And a Goldingo. So, don't think this one's really gonna be played very much, but that art is really cool. He's like going coin Super Saiyan or something. I, I don't know, but I mean, he's, he's doing something there. He's like, Rah! who knows? Pretty excited we got that Charizard, guys. That's a good pull, even though it is the basic Charizard. That's what we call trade fodder. A Pineco looking hella sus. What are you doing? A Numel just minding his own business, hanging out in the lava. Hey, that Natu art's really cool. It's soft. It's very like pastel y. Very nice. Paldean student. I actually do really like this, this art. I think they did a good job. And look, she's like doing a Kamehameha with a Pokeball. A, a, a Pokeball, Kamehameha wave, yeah. A camera up, yeah, and a new one in the same pack. Would have been good for pack battle. Scrafty, Swoobat, another Swoobat. 
a reverse hollow charmander that might be going in my deck ghastly and executor that's actually really cool how they did the foiling on this one how that leaf kind of comes up in the executor's uh body and just look at his face well, actually what is what is that one doing what's what's going on there what's what's he doing what he doing i don't know what they're doing All right, we're getting through these packs. We got a couple left. Gonna be vibing, chilling. I had the Pikachu in the set, very cool. That Pikachu art is really cool. He's in the city, he's hanging out, he's jumping around, doing all the fun stuff. Another Paldean student. The Fido, again, a delicious looking Pokemon. The Haunter, all oh, that art is cool. Art is sick. Again, I don't know if this is a reprint art, but that is still really, really cool art. Another Scrafty, you've seen that, another Swoobat. Hey, the Gengar! So we got the whole troop here. That's a really cool Gengar. Night Gaze, or Night Gate. Once during your turn, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So you get a free switch of Rooney. That probably, definitely not going to be played in standard. That Reverse Hollow Anime Primate. Execute. And a Heat Rotom. Okay, a Heat Rotom. So, two Fire Energy, 100. This Pokemon does 40 damage to itself. Okay, so definitely it won't be played but i mean that that's actually oh maybe i don't know there aren't really any grass decks any there anywhere that this would be interesting or useful but that still is uh, pretty cool going through the packs enjoying our time all right and nimona Another neat two, another rare candy playable. We take those. Another Cottony, Curlio. We've already seen these cards today. Another Gengar. Hey, a Ralt. Oh, that's really cool. And it's at like the Poke Academy or whatever. I don't remember what it's what it's called, but it's all like, oh wow, what's going on here? <gasps> oh, the SAR. Whew. Oh, and the Mimic Shoe. But the SAR, the Wiglet SAR. Sorry, the Wug Trio. I was incorrect. This art is cool. They're all like wiggling, 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 wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's what they're doing. So headbutt and undersea tunnel. Nothing interesting, but man, that SAR is shiny. Oh, that's cool. I like the different colors of the Wug Trios. Very cool. Wug Trio is it, is it wig wig lettuces? Wig wig lettuces? Wig wig loops? I don't know, but very cool card. We're gonna sleeve that bad boy up. That's an SAR. That's a tradable. People will want that bad boy. And we got the Mimic Chew, which is great. Last pack, guys. Last pack, last pack. We opening these up, we enjoying our time. Only one shiny, oh, I found one shiny. It's like real life odds or something, like game odds or something. Yeah, the Suspicious Pineco again. The Numel just vibing, just hanging out. A Maricactus, man, that face, he's like uh, going crazy over there, man. That's crazy. Whew, another Paldean student. Hey, electric generator, that's a playable, that's a playable. And the mouse hold, um, some of my friends might consider that playable. Uh, lantern, that's really cool art. I think that's, oh, and then a shiny Pionyard. Pionyard, shiny. Or cactus and a Magmortar. That shiny Pionyard's really cool. Look at him go. He's like, -ching. very cool. And we got the reverse hollow Mark cactus and the Magmortar. I really like that art. That art's really cool, Flare Volcanic Heat. Okay, guys, that's all the packs. Nothing too crazy this time around, but I'll catch you next time. Y'all have some sweet pulls.